Hey folks, Patrick with Barkbusters here. Uh, already today I've received a ton of inquiries about puppy training, so I just wanted to go over a couple basic things to keep in mind now that we have a new puppy. Uh, one, you're going to want to get a crate. Uh, and the reason why we want to get a crate is never for punishment. We never want to use the crate for punishment, ever. I can't make that clear enough. The reason why we want to get a crate is that we want to take advantage of a dog's natural instincts, especially a puppy's natural instincts, and that is to not toilet where they sleep. So by having the dog be, spend some time in the crate, it is teaching the dog to hold it until it is taken to the appropriate toilet training area, presumably outside or if you're pee pad training your dog to use a pee pad. Now, a quick tangent about pee pads. If you're going to pee pad train your dog, that's totally fine. But try not to transition off the pee pads. Meaning, five years down the road, if you want your dog peeing and pooping on a pee pad, start with a pee pad. If you don't want the dog peeing and pooping on a pee pad at all, ever, when it's five years old, two years old, 15 years old, well then don't even get started on a pee pad. Just take it to the appropriate toileting area, whether it be, again, outside or on a pee pad. So just a side tangent there. Um, now, as far as crates go, uh, a couple things to kind of keep in mind to also help toilet train the dog, which is the number one issue people have with their puppies. Um, they want the dog to be able to hold it all night, all these wonderful things. And while some dogs can hold it all night very quickly, a good rule of thumb is that dogs can hold it for about an hour longer than they are months old. What does that mean? That means a three-month-old dog should be able to hold it for about four hours, depending upon activity level. Meaning, if the dog is racing around going crazy because it's a puppy, you're probably looking at maybe a half hour, depending upon how much water and food that puppy has had prior to that activity. Otherwise, again, if the dog is in its crate and the crate is teaching the dog to hold it, assuming the dog isn't running around a whole lot, it should be able to hold it for a, a progressively longer period of time as it gets older. I kind of call this the airplane effect. Uh, unless you're a man over a certain age, uh, you're, when you're on an airplane, you're probably not going to the bathroom a whole lot. Uh, but if you drink a lot or you're a male over a certain age, you're going to the bathroom quite often. Uh, and so the idea is that, hey, if you're just stuck in your seat and you're not moving, well, then you're probably going to be able to hold it because there's nothing going on. You're not doing anything. But more often than not, once we get off an airplane, where does everybody go? Well, everybody goes to the bathroom. So, again, it's the level of the physical activity that causes puppies to go sooner and more often than if they're just lying around doing nothing. So that's the first thing about that crate is, is it teaches them to hold it. The next thing that you might want to consider is a technique called scatter feeding. And scatter feeding is when you take the dog's food, not all of it, start with about half of it, and you scatter it. I'm not talking about dumping out. I'm talking about scattering the food in an area where you don't want the dog to toilet him. As far as me and with my last dog, uh, Theodore, who's going to be four soon, uh, he did not eat out of a food bowl until he was about uh, maybe four, four and a half months. So from the time that we got him as a puppy, about two and a half, three months old from the shelter, uh, he did not eat it out of a food bowl. So we constantly were sprinkling and scattering the food all over our family room and all over the main areas where we were going to have him primarily be for the first, I don't know, eight months of his life. And as he learned how to hold it with the use of the crate, and as he passively learned not where to toilet because we're scattering the food, well, that's how toilet training kind of works. So we want to take advantage of what puppies give us, and puppy gave, has, puppies give us some natural things that we can use. So crates teach, teaches the dog to hold it. Scatter feeding teaches a dog, hey man, you don't want a toilet here, all right? And then the last part is kind of up to you. We need to get the puppy on a schedule, and it needs to be a progressive schedule. Again, making sure that the dog isn't going out every half hour or every hour. Again, depending upon how old the puppy is, we want a progressive schedule. Again, a puppy that's about three months old should be able to hold it for about four hours. 
So if there's a lot of activity in the house, maybe you take it out every hour for the first two weeks that you have it. But slowly, we want to start bringing that schedule out to an hour and a half, to two hours, to three hours, to four hours. And as the dog gets older, and as you're using the crate to teach it to hold it, and as you're scatter feeding the food, we're teaching the dog to hold it longer and to toilet in the appropriate areas. The last thing that you want to do is take the dog out on regular cycles, because then the dog is only going to learn to hold it for the regular cycle. I've worked with plenty of adult dogs that can only hold it for an hour, maybe two hours, because the owners trained it at a very early age to toilet every hour or every two hours. So just be very careful about the frequency that you're taking it out. Trust these tips. Uh, if they help, please uh, pass them on. Uh, if they don't help and you need a little bit more advice, we're happy to be of service to you. Uh, but toilet training is the number one biggest issue that we get with puppies. How quickly can we get them toilet trained? Uh, stay tuned in because tomorrow we're going to talk about some other things to do with some puppies. So come back to this channel tomorrow and there'll be some more free information about how to work with your puppy.